Yep, yep. I had to pull out one of my Mario tees because after watching that movie, I had to rep Nintendo. I didn't think I was going to have that much of a good time. And to be honest, I don't know if it was the movie or the audience, but the entire audience through the course of the movie, we were laughing the entire time. And it just made it just made the movie going experience. It made it really enjoyable for me and something special. Mario and Luigi are two plumbers from New York. They journey into the Mushroom Kingdom where they protect Princess Peach and her people from Bowser. Bowser wants to take over the world and <laughs> yep. The Mario Brothers movie was filled with a terrific cast of voice actors. Chris Pratt, he plays Mario. I, all right, look. I was pretty skeptical about him. I've been reading some of the chatter online. Many people were worried that Chris couldn't fill the boots of Charles Martinet. Charles is OG, he's GOAT. Most of us grew up with him voicing Mario. I've been the voice of Mario for 26 years. It's -a me, Mario, woohoo, let's -a go, okie dokie. But I have to tell you that when I was watching the movie, I didn't, I didn't hear Chris Pratt. <laughs> I heard a legitimate Mario. That may be just me. I did not hear Star-Lord. <laughs> Luigi, he's the younger brother. You know, I thought they were gonna sideline Luigi most of this movie. You know, I'm glad they did him justice. And I'm glad they gave him a personality. I'm glad they gave him some depth. Luigi is voiced by Charles Day, who did a terrific job representing Mario's younger brother. Unlike Mario, Luigi is timid and meek and never really sure of himself. More often than not, Mario will stand up for what's right, a characteristic Luigi has grown to appreciate. Although Luigi literally looks down on Mario, figuratively, he looks up to him in every way. You know, Peach, when I heard her voice, I thought it was Courtney Draper. Courtney Draper plays Elizabeth from Bioshock. Are you real? I'm real enough. He's coming. You, you've got to go. Why? You don't want to be here when he gets here. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. Did you Come to find out it wasn't. <laughs> Peach is actually voiced by Anya Taylor-Joy from Queen's Gambit. Man, their voices are similar. I'm a chess player. Kind of similar. Who are you? Somewhat similar. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Peach was a wonderful character and I'm glad, I'm glad they got away of the save the princess trope. As a kid, it's all right. You're used to heroes saving the princess. I think it's kind of a staple of Disney animated movies. But after a while, and then you grow up, it just it just doesn't work with today's culture. And what's cool about her, I think at one of the premieres, Anya actually cosplayed as Peach. Bowser, I think he made the movie. <laughs> In the movie, Bowser wants to marry Peach. Remember Mario Odyssey? Yeah. The writer somewhat borrowed that storyline. It may not have been original, but hey, it worked for the movie. I have to say this, the ending of Odyssey left a bad taste in my mouth. Mario moved heaven and earth to save Peach from Bowser, only to be curved and left on the fucking moon? At least Mario and Bowser shared a moment, I guess. And there, <laughs> there are just some scenes with Bowser that are just, it's just hysterical, man. And it's Jack Black. There's this scene where he's playing the piano. He's singing his heart out. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. Bowser, he's, he's sprung, man. And I don't understand his infatuation with Peach, but Jack Black has a creative way of selling it to the audience. Bowser is monologuing about his love for Peach. And there's this dude in the audience that yells, Simp! The whole audience just busts out laughing, man. He may be simping, but hey, Bowser did it in a way that is just absolutely hysterical. Props to Jack Black. He not only made Bowser funny, but he can flip the script and flip the switch and make him menacing and terrifying. Shoutouts to Key and Seth Rogen. I think they did a good job voicing Toad and Donkey Kong. The Super Mario Brothers movie is a nostalgia overload to the senses visually, auditorily, and emotionally. Illumination Studios worked hard translating the Mario universe from video games to the big screen. And they did it. The different kingdoms are eye-catching, glowing with fun and positivity. Not to mention the humor is solid enough that people of all ages will find entertaining. I kind of want to watch the movie again because there are so, there's so many Easter eggs. I mean, <laughs> you can pick your era. Mario, Mario 2, Mario 3, Mario Land, Mario World, Mario RPG, Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, Mario Sunshine, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart, Luigi's Mansion. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there.
I was just smiling the entire movie. I do want to ask you guys, what's your favorite Mario game and why? Just throw it down below in the comments. I'm just curious. If you have a brain, you'll stay tuned. Watch this while I look for my brainy brother. This movie is a high budget film and Nintendo wanted to put their best foot forward, especially after that 93 whatever it was. How is this Yoshi? How is this Bowser? And how the hell is this a Goomba? That movie was trash, man. And all you defenders out there, shame. All right, so the dislikes, hmm. You know, the dislikes, I really don't have any. I, I really, I, for this one, I honestly, I don't. You know why I don't have any? It's because I'm biased as hell right now. <laughs> But if I had to pick one, um, this movie was straight was a straight love letter to all the Nintendo players around the world. Mario is probably the biggest video game character in history. That said, if you've never played the Mario games growing up, I think if you watch this movie, you might have a hard time um, keeping up with the pace. It's really quick. It's really quick. It's A to B, B to C, C to D. It's a very linear track. So the likes... Uh, Everything else. Oh yeah, I have, to, <laughs> I have to say that. All right, scratch that. Bowser, Bowser is not my favorite character in the movie. It is Luma Lee. <laughs> this motherfucker's dark, bro, and he's. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything because it's gonna ruin. But Luma Lee in Bowser's prison was. It stole the movie, man. It stole the movie. We had so many people in the audience just crying of laughter, man. Luma Lee. <laughs> Fucking Luma Lee. <laughs> That's all I really have to say about the movie. The movie is an absolute treat, and it's a must-see of 2023. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Illumination. I really hope, I sincerely hope, that we can keep the momentum going and maybe have a whole Mario universe. So we'll see what happens, and I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go see the movie again. So, forgive me, uh... I got my dates wrong. I thought the Mario movie was gonna come out a week from now. As it turned out, it didn't, so I'm still working on the Resident Evil review. It's coming up next. Thank you all for your patience. Um, but the game still scares the shit out of me.